Shalom. Shalom. This week's Haftarah is one of my favorites. It's for the Parsha of Vayera. It comes from the book of Kings, the Haftarah, Melachim Bet, the second half, second book of Kings in the chapter 4. It's a story about Elisha, Eliyahu Hanavi, Elijah the prophet's successor. His name was Elisha. And Elijah was blessed with performing nine miracles and one resurrection of the dead. Yes, resurrection of the dead. And Elisha was actually um, blessed. He asked for a double blessing of what Eliyahu had. And Elisha actually performed 18 miracles and two resurrections of the dead. So in this Haftarah, these are two sweet, wonderful stories. The first one... Let me give you a little bit of a background. You know the name Queen Jezebel. Jezebel was the queen of the northern tribes, and her husband was Ahav, and they had a son, Yehoram. And uh, there was a man originally born as an Edomite. His name was Ovadia. In modern Saudi terms, it's... Abdallah, Eved, yeah. Anyway, this Edomite converted and became the second in command to this Achav and Izevel up north. And he gave all his money for what? To buy oil. What oil? There was only a hundred Nevi'im, there was only a hundred prophets left in the land of Israel, and he hid them in two separate caves. My father said, Reuben, never put all your money in one pocket. Split it up. So he never put all the hundred Nevi'im in the same cave. He split them up. And in those caves, it was dark, unless they would bring light to light up the cave so they can learn Torah. So here you have this man, Ovaja, runs out of money, dies, on this lady, and here's where the story picks up, that one of these lady, Isha, one lady, Achat, this one lady, from the Bnei Nevi'im, the sons of the prophets, she was married to Ovadia, he passes away, and the king, Achav, comes, his son comes and says, listen, you can't pay me back, I'm taking your kids in lieu of it. By the way, according to Halakha, that's not what you do, it's not according to the halakha. But then again, the guy didn't care. He was the king, and he bullied her. And she says, uh-uh, no way. My husband died. He gave his every last penny to buy the oil to save these hundred prophets. God is going to save my two children from this evil king. Turns out Alicia comes to town. She explains her story. He looks at her, he goes, what do you have of any value in this house? And she says, nothing, except I have this little jar, a glass jar, but it only has like one drop of oil in it. He goes, bring it to me. And he says, tell your children to go bring as many pots and pans and buckets and urns and clay pottery and glass things, because we're going to... We're going to have a miracle here. He closes the door behind in the house. He's inside, so no one else outside can see. And what happens is he takes that lady's pach shemen, this anointing vessel, and he pours it as if there was a lot in it. And oil starts pouring out of it into the first vessel, the second vessel. And for as many vessels as they had room, it filled up. Until she ran out of vessels, and then Alicia said, now the miracle stops. He looks at her, he says, you have enough money to pay off your debt to the king, and to live till Mashiach comes. Your children could live, your children's children could live. And this is the first story, how... Elisha created this miracle measure for measure that the oil that this man gave to save the Jewish people 
is the oil that saved her two children from being taken away. The second part of the Haftarah is another story, but now it's about the Shunamid woman, who every time Elisha would come to town, he would stay by her, she would feed him, she gave him a room. So, but Na'am the Chsufa, the bread of shame, he couldn't just go and stay. She would never take any money. So he offered her. He said, listen, tell me what you want. Because I don't want anything. I have everything except a son. He says, a year from now, you will be blessed with a son. She goes, do me a favor. Don't tease me. He's not able to have kids up until now. Why are you talking this way? He goes, you will be carrying a child this time next year. And sure enough, she had a baby. And the miracle happened. One day, the parents are out in the field. It's a very hot day. It's Israel. And it must have been something so bad that the child got heat stroke and died. So the Shunamid woman is, I, I, I told Elisha not to wind me up. Why did he do this? So she sends for Ge and Gehazi goes to tell Elisha of what happened. Elisha tells Gehazi, go back and do so-and-so with the child. Along the way, Gehazi tells other people what he's doing, so he becomes powerless. Her son's dead. She goes back to Elisha, and she says, listen, you must save my son. Briefly, he comes to her house. He goes upstairs where the son is, and he performs Tchiyara Mesim. He resurrects this child from the dead. And this child is brought back to life. Absolute miracle. So here you have two fantastic stories at the beginning of this wonderful year of Haftorahs about how Elisha performed a miracle for these two separate women. What a wonderful Haftarah. Shabbat Shalom. Enjoy the Haftarah.